Attentional Black Ops 3 Call of Duty fans, the second DLC pack Eclipse has just dropped and it's bringing with it four brand new multiplayer maps as well as a new zombie map. We're going to check it out in this review. Season pass holders would have been playing the new maps for a while now, but if you don't have the season pass, we're going to find out if you should fork over your hard-earned money and pick up Eclipse. As per the norm with Call of Duty DLC, there are four new multiplayer maps. The first one we're going to take a look at is a map called Knockout. It's an oriental themed map that's actually very pretty, but don't be fooled, it has plenty of gaps that you need a wall run across, otherwise you will find yourself suicided. It also has a lot of open space and it was one of my favorite maps out of the four. The next map we're going to take a look at is Rift, another map with a lot of open spaces with a very Blade Runner-esque type theme to it. The map offers you a lot of opportunities to link up some wall running and it has a lot of tight corners so sliding is paramount. Now it's time to move on to our third map which is Spire. It pretty much is a reimagined cloud city or a futuristic airport if you like but it has a lot of open space. I personally didn't enjoy it, it was my least favorite map. I found that in a lot of games guys would just camp across the map with a sniper rifle and end you with a 50 cal round to your face. Now for our last map and I definitely saved the best for last which is Verge, a Mad Max inspired map with pretty much everything you want in a nice even multiplayer map. One of my favorite features of the map is the river that runs through the center of the map that actually turns into an underwater war zone pretty quickly. It's by far the map that I had the most fun on and I think aesthetically it was on point for something a little bit different than what we used to. Now I'm moving on to my favorite part of Call of Duty DLC, the zombie mode. One of the best things about the zombie DLC is the fact that it has gone back to World War II even though you're using modern weapons, but you can still hear P-51 Mustangs tearing up the sky and obviously you're killing old World War II soldiers. That's about the only thing I liked and everything else was pretty horrible. The map layout is terrible. There's way too many tight corridors. You can barely push through hordes of zombies. I just found the layout to be too claustrophobic and to be honest, not that much fun. In terms of multiplayer maps though, you are getting a very good offering with the four maps. I was just personally let down with the zombie mode and that's why this is one of the lowest Call of Duty DLC map packs that I've ever reviewed. Damn you Treyarch. If you enjoyed this video review, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for weekly gaming content coming at your face.